What's good about seeing these first is that it really explains what the, the, the final tool does. This is your adjustment brush, whereby you can put in several adjustments to an image, okay? Um, so let me see if I click on it, and you'll see I can click New, and anywhere where I put a, a little one of these pins. So let's start with the guild hall just for now. In fact, I, what I'll do just as a really clear demonstration, I'll put one on here, okay? And I'm going to make a mad adjustment to this, right? I'm going to take exposure right down, okay? And I'm going to put the contrast right up. Um, anywhere now that I paint on the image, you'll see it does this same thing where it's bringing the exposure right down and the contrast right up. And at the minute, these are coming up as big black blobs, but it's just for way of demonstration. Now, if I show you, right, if I hover over the pin, it will show me all the areas onto which this particular adjustment has been put. So the darkened and the high contrast, that's been put on there. And what's cool about Lightroom is that it's all non-destructive. So if I click on this pin and I go, oh God, that's, that's really, that shouldn't be that dark an exposure. Look, I can pull that up and it will bring all of those areas up along with it. Okay, it'll bring all of those up with it. Pull the contrast right down. All right, and I can make it. Now, for now, I'm just gonna leave these black just so that you can see this next section. If I come up here, and click another one of these pins, let's say here. Oh, sorry, um, undo that. Okay, click, you have to click new. So this is a new mask now coming in. And I'm gonna, look, I've got one pin here and I've got one pin here. Now this one here, I'm gonna set a plus exposure. So it'll be really overexposed and take the contrast way down. All right, now watch this. So that's effectively painting it white. I'm not going to do it as strong as that, just so that you see some of the image, but look, a boost in exposure. And now, with this pin selected, anywhere that I go in and paint, all right, it will raise the exposure of those areas. And if I hover over the pin, it shows me the areas that the lightened bits have been, have been uh, applied to. And the cool thing about this is that, look, I can just go back to this pin and see the darker bits, this pin, and see the lighter bits. And let's do one more for good luck. Um, I'll put one in here, and I'm gonna change the color of this really dramatically. Like, let's just, just mess that up, do we see? That's, you know, saturation and all that, all right? Look, okay, so this is a really blue, saturated, really strong effect, right? But there, but there, but there, and whatever, but there. And what's good about this, if I hover over, there's the bits that have been painted blue, there's the bits that have been darkened, and there's the bits that have been lightened. Okay, and any one of these, if I'm gonna undo all of these now, do you see how, how to do that? Um, if I'm clicked on here, all I do is simply just paint, and it'll raise the rest of the areas, or if you hold Alt, it will allow you to take those out. Okay, Alt kind of minuses those areas that are, all right, it still keeps your pin look, but at the minute, it's not making a big difference because I have none of these areas really exposed. And if I click on it, I can just go, yeah, there's a lighter bit down there and make adjustments like that. So what I'm gonna do just now is do this properly because if I take all of these off. <clears throat> now, let's do a proper one. So I've got the guild hall here. I'm gonna create a new pin on here. Uh, the way you can adjust the size of, of the brush is using your two angular brackets, the, the two angular bracket keys. So right makes it bigger and left makes it smaller. Um, it's, and if you hold Alt, you'll see that the Alt brush is, uh, is the same size, 
but I can do alt and minus and alt, uh, or sorry, not minus, alt and left angular bracket and alt and right angular bracket to make that a specific size. Now generally I keep, I keep the two of them the same size. Okay, but you can change them if you need. So what I'm going to do on the guild hall here, I'm quite happy with the exposure of it. Um, I've already taken the global exposure down a little bit. So we'll maybe add, let's try a touch of clarity, right? So we'll make this a clarity adjustment brush. And as I brush this round, you'll see, look, the detail of the guild hall starting to become really, really clear. And if I hover over it, it shows me there's the area that's currently using this mask to make the details clearer. Um, if I keep doing it, keep overdoing it, you'll see, look, it's quite a, an extreme example, but yeah, you can see that that works and it makes it quite clear. If I was to reverse that member earlier, when we looked at clarity, look, if I put that right the way up, it leaves the rest of the photo looking the same and it makes the guild hall look like a HDR. And if I pull that right down, it makes the guild hall look fuzzy and hazy. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit here. Now, as I said before, just to show you how, again, this works, is I can go, right, let's say it's a 100% clarity brush, just for example. Okay, at the minute, there's the area that's masked off, but I can click that and I can go, yeah, I want to brush in some clarity up here. And if I come back to the, the pin, it's two areas. Okay, if I want to remove this now, I just hold Alt and I go take the clarity out of that area. Okay, so we're back to just here. And then I say, right, I don't actually want it around the Peace Bridge. I don't want it around the sky. I'm just going to tidy it up around the edges here, like that. Okay, and I would, as I say, I would never use. 100% clarity and adjustment at all, but you might you might add a wee touch like that. Maybe makes it stand out a wee bit. And then we can add a new one that does something completely different. So a new one here that maybe is, let's brighten up this water just a wee bit. I'm gonna add one here. We'll brighten it up just a touch, I see. Okay, and again, even though I've painted that on now, Right, I can go over here and make all the adjustments again. So I could go, oh yeah, well, maybe brighten it that much and maybe do a wee boost in saturation. You know, war warm it up a bit like that. Um, and then now, if that's, if that's an exposure and saturation brush, I might decide to brush a bit of that in here or here or over here. And so it's really cool to be able to to do these specific targeted brushes. And again, there's that one. There's everywhere that it's been painted on. You just hover over the wee, the wee node to see it, uh, the wee pin, and to adjust it, you can either <clears throat> click on it, hold Alt, and rub away some of it. Okay, Alt, and get rid of that wee bit there too. You can either do that or click the pin hit backspace and it'll disappear altogether. So it's an amazing tool that it, that really is like your targeted adjustments there are just are just brilliant, you know. Um let's just paint on some of this. Okay, we'll boost our saturation. Um take the exposure down a wee bit and add a wee touch of saturation in here and one over here. Maybe a, a blast there as well. Okay. So there we go. And with each one of these, like you'll see now of just this one pin, I'll hover over it, and there you go. This will show you exactly where it has been adjusted. Um, and you can add, you don't have to keep clicking more and more pins to be to be making adjustments, not at all. You can go in and just adjust that particular pin. Look, that I want that to be this color, that color, all that. You can just stack these adjustments one on top of the other, and it all just refers to 
this pin. So if I was to click that, brush in up here, that goes the same way. Okay. Um, now, Command Z will undo that. Undo Add Brush Stroke, Undo Exposure, Undo Highlights, Shadows, Exposure, Tint, all those bits. And there, we're back to quite a nice, quite a nice image there. Um, now, if I was to click Done, that gets me out of the adjustments, back into the, the, the kind of global panel, where again, if I click Exposure, that's everything. Okay, that's Command Z undo exposure. So that's everything. And to get back in to fix one of those adjustments, you just go back into the adjustment brush and there you go. It's sitting there waiting for you. Okay, and then you just click done. Cool. So next up, I think we're, we're almost done with this. Um, what I said before is that within the develop module, you don't have to keep jumping between library, develop, library, develop, library, develop. You can click on another image and you can go in and just, you know, it's all within the develop module then. Um, the library module is more for, as I say, organizing and uh, collecting things in the catalogs and collections and so on. Uh, but if I look, there's some highlights and shadows and all of that. We set the, let's do this properly as well. Okay, so there's that tiny touch of contrast. Um, highlights. Bring the clouds down a bit. Um, shadows, boost them up a bit. White point, hold Alt. Look, I'm losing, do you see that rail along the front? So I wanna take that down to just, just before it peeks out on me. And blacks, hold Alt and pull it down to about there, something like that. Okay, cool. So not a, not a lot of adjustments on that. Maybe a touch of clarity on this one. Um, not too much. Sometimes I take off a bit of clarity too, you know, and, and rely on sharpening instead. But it's just whatever way you're working. Now, uh, let's try a crop. Okay, we'll try a crop on this one. Don't like how much sky's in here, so we'll take that down. And I really like how this is actually a scale model of, of the Peace Bridge, or a, it's a sign based on the Peace Bridge, and there's the actual bridge following the same shape behind it. So kind of want to draw people in to that. Um, this is all about a dead space here. We were trying to do something with a leading line there, but it didn't quite come off, so I'm, I'm not precious about that. That's fine, we can chop that out. And I see, crop that up. Not sure if I'll, uh, I maybe do like that there, just kind of anchors it at the bottom and I'll pull in just so that this little line here just comes in at a point as well. So um, again, I'm looking for shapes, I'm looking for angles, triangles. You know, you see there's a triangle at the bottom here, one here, one here. These are kind of two triangles like that. So um, yeah, look out for shapes and see how you can, how you can use them. I'm gonna crop that in a bit there and let's see. Yeah, let's let's pretend that's that's grand for now. Okay, and we just again click done or move on to one of the other tools or the other modules. You just click done, that's grand. And now, the reason that looks like it cropped off the top look is that your your options are still up here along the top. Uh, you can control the zoom of this as well. You can click in and click out, um, and you can also use command minus or command plus, okay, do zoom in and out like that. Cool, so here we go, here we go, we've got uh, that cropped spot removal, again you can be right the way uh, in, command plus, uh, right the way in, looking for spots, and you can remove those, red eye, oh, we don't need that, graduated filter, uh, not White, I'm all right. I'm, I'm looking back at this highlight but in a second since I adjusted that clarity I'm just going to double check alt and click on the whites. Yeah, no, it's still fine. There's no no bits overexposed there and Let's do some targeted adjustments. Okay, so So the guild hall here you'll see I've gone with the same adjustment brush, but 
because it's such a small area, I might want to make that bigger, or, or sorry, might want to make it smaller, I should say. Um, if I hover over it at the minute, I can hold Alt to become the brush where we take it away and hit your left and right angular bracket just to make it a bit smaller. Alt and look, look at this. That's very specifically now painting exposure on that area. So that's quite cool. You could be like, you could be so specific with this stuff. You know, you could be spending days and days at it if if you wanted to. Um, for me, I'm just bashing through it and doing a a wee example for you. Um, I'm going to go Alt and then the right hand bracket, tap it a few times, and I'm just going to get rid of the the mask around here. Now, look at this. That's quite a tight little area around the guild hole. Uh, I've noticed a bit here that's still part of it. So yeah, there we go. Tight area around the guild hall. Whatever you want to do with that. Light, dark, contrast, and whatever. Maybe add a wee touch of saturation in there. And take that exposure down like that. Now, anywhere else I want a wee slight boost of exposure, I can add that in now. Um, because it's set up to do that. And there's one adjustment brush, which is cool. Now, this side here then, maybe I want to change, you know, the, make an adjustment brush now for the grass here. Um, I'll go here, up to the top, uh, create a new brush, put it on there somewhere. And I'm going to make it look, let's say, slightly greener slightly more saturated um, paint this in and see how we look okay well, if I take that out it goes black and white uh, okay warm it up just a touch take the exposure down a little and a bit more saturation okay we'll try that and see yeah you see what I mean? It it makes a big difference. Like that's overdone. I don't I don't like that particularly. But again, if I don't, that's fine because I can just click on here and make the adjustment, and it applies to everywhere that I've brushed brushed that into. Um, so take that down. Take the saturation down. Um, so it's a really cool program they play about with it really as it's like there look how green the grass looks now and um, if i hover over there you go that's the bits that are now these bits here are still included in that mask so i just hold alt and get rid of them well, they go back to normal color and you can be really quite tight and around the edges with a smaller brush i'll not spend too much time on it now but just to just to show you Okay, so there we go with two adjustments. We've changed the guild hall and it brushed a bit of exposure in here. We've changed the color of the grass a bit. Um, and then let's finally add, sure, why not? We add a, a graduated filter in along the top like that. You just click and drag it. Uh, you can move the midpoint in like that a bit. And I'm gonna take the exposure look instead of up, I'm gonna take it down a bit. and shift the midpoint up like that and pull that down there we go something like that so that's a graduated filter again if i click on here look it's got the same little pin that i can adjust if i hover over it shows me what bits have been masked off and there's my adjustments on the guild hall and on the grass so That'll do us for now. Um, you'll see how, how those are done. You can fire through all of your images here. Uh, let's do a proper one on this just because we have we have just about enough time to do a proper one of these. Where's the one of the... That one was quite nice actually. Um, so I'm just going to click on it very quickly, go into develop. Um, that'll load in there's some contrast there's control of the exposure okay this is a great great idea here to add a graduated filter see at the top to take the sky down a wee bit 
and I'm going to play away with the highlights that take those down just a bit so that I have them shadows maybe up a touch um, hold alt white point that's okay you do, you remember you don't want any whites or any extreme blacks like that maybe we touch a blacks but not not too much usually about that and touch of clarity and cool there we go we're starting to get in the proper speed now um, this one here crop maybe we could actually crop out some of the sky there you know um, like that click done and then we'll add a graduated filter which we will drag down like this holding shift look to keep it straight okay we'll bring a graduated filter down like this uh, okay and on that graduated filter I'm going to take the exposure down just a touch not too much at all that's minus 0.3 of a stop and I'm going to try to maybe add look a little hint of blue not too much just a wee tiny bit um, maybe a touch of saturation don't know let's see okay click done on that there we are so that's that's quite nice there's there's the first one there's the second one you know so it's just good much better clarity a wee touch of that graduation up here which is nice and yeah be quite happy with that that's all right and um, the other thing you can do which i haven't actually just spoken about but let's say for instance with the adjustment brush you say i wanted to sharpen his eyes okay look i can paint this on here um automatically it usually sets itself for um plus one exposure you know as an adjustment but you just double click it and that takes it takes it back under detail and you've got sharpening you can add a touch of sharpening on here that will just allow you look, to paint in a bit of sharpening wherever you want it some of the features and if i hover over look there's where it's sharpened if I think, look, the detail will show me how much or how little sharpening has been applied. And if you think, oh, that's too sharp, that's too soft, you just kind of bring it up and find somewhere you're happy with it and click done. Cool. All right, so there's, there's us. That's your library and develop module. Now, to be honest, those will be the two main things that you'll be using. They'll be the the most common things you'll organize in the library and you'll use develop to process your photos exactly like we've just we've just done